So this question has to do with Lenz's law. Basically, it's the part of Faraday's law that specifically deals with the direction. So this negative sign here is what Lenz's law is all about. What the heck is a negative sign doing there? Well, the negative sign tells us that basically what Lenz's law states that the current that ends up being created or induced by a change in magnetic flux will in turn, because all currents create magnetic field, will in turn create a magnetic flux that is opposite to that change. In short, nature is somehow always against us. It's not that surprising. I mean, nature is not mean or anything. It's basically saying that as you make a change in your magnetic field, it creates some current, and that current doesn't end up driving more of the same change, which then gives it a positive feedback and amplifies and then explodes itself. The world like that would not make sense. Instead, we will get a current that creates a magnetic field that tries to undo the change we're trying to make. So in treating this direction, positive and negative is still dictated by the right hand rule, but you have to do a flip to account for this negative sign. Usually we don't break out like IJK vectors because it's a little hard to track. So instead, usually we do a qualitatively multi-steps approach. So to track this direction, we need to know quote unquote the direction of the change in flux. And again, I remind you that the change in flux can involve a change in magnetic field or a change in the area or even changing in the orientation because that affects the dot product. So what we do is we compare the cases before and after and then find out what the magnetic field does induce direction is. Then by the right hand rule, we get the current. But let's see how this works out. So typically we draw a before picture and an after picture. So a little time later, what does this look like? This thing is going to be a little closer and instead of say six dots that are here, we only have four dots coming out of magnetic field. The loop that's happening here, of course, is this loop here and then the loop got smaller. So basically this is a case where we're decreasing area. So if the area decreases, then what do we have between here, we are losing flux that is pointing out of the page because the field stays the same, but the area decreased. So the flux also decreased and this is outwards. So that means, so this means by B induced must try to make up for that lost. So it also goes outwards. So now you have a loop and then the induced magnetic field goes outwards by the right hand rule. Around the loop, you can put your thumb with the magnetic field, and that means the current must go this way, which we counterclockwise. So this step is where we do the negative sign. So again, we draw the before and after picture, identify what is the change, change is that. We flip it around to get the direction of the induced magnetic field. And then we find out using the right hand rule how the current must go in order to create a magnetic field in that direction. Okay, let's see how it works with part C. So that's the before picture. And the after picture is it moves into this region of magnetic field. So even though the area itself is not changing, the area, this area that has magnetic field intersecting it is increasing. So instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you're fully enclosed, so you get a little more. So the change here is your outward flux goes up. There's more outward flux as time goes on for a little bit until it fully gets inside and it stays the same. So here's the negative sign. So then the B induce has to counteract that. So to counteract an increase in outwards, we must make something that goes inwards to cancel out some of that extra outwards. And so if you have a loop and you have to make a B field that goes that way, you know that you have to go clockwise, just like that. 
And then here finally, there's not really a... Ah, we can still draw a picture. So that's still the before picture. Let's go on the left side here. Then the after picture. Not that the area is changing now. This time we have the magnetic field increasing. So instead of this many dots, we're going to end up with a whole bunch more dots. All right, the B field is increasing. So there's more field coming out of the page. And this again, the change is you have outwards, more outward flux. If you have more outward flux, that means my B induced Let's try to cancel out some of that outwards by making things inwards. And again, we're going to have a clockwise current. So hopefully through these examples, you can see how we determine the direction of the current flow, which as summarized by Lenz's law is that the current created always creates a magnetic field that opposes the change that we're introducing in terms of the flux and thus the negative sign there.